So we're here on the 49th anniversary of Roe vs. Wade, January 22nd, 2022. We'll see if anyone has the courage of their convictions. Why are you guys here today? Because my freedom and my bodily autonomy is under attack. That's what's, why. What's under attack? My bodily autonomy. Your bodily autonomy? Yes. So when did your bodily autonomy begin? When my bodily autonomy began? I have no idea. When did your bodily autonomy rights begin? Let me think, when I became 18, until then my, my parents made my decisions. When you became 18? So you had no control over your own body? Doesn't, doesn't abortion uh, ruin the bodily autonomy of pre-born women? No. You don't have to attack if you don't want to attack. No. Oh, look how dehumanizing. She doesn't think you can speak for yourself. How does that feel? I'm just saying how does that feel? Face, why, why do you think she can't speak for herself? What would you guys say to the pro-choice feminists and media, and, or Kamala Harris, let's say, uh, who say that real women need abortion, real women will protect abortion, because otherwise, you know, you can't be equal with men. That's what they tell us. I would say that women need love, and that that is what they get from the pro-life movement, and that while abortion might seem like a quick fix or something, it actually really harms women. and. It harms babies, of course, so we need to show women love, and that's why we're here. Wow. Look at this. Uh, high school pro-life women smarter than the alleged vice president of uh, the United States of America. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. Good to meet you. Hey, guys, why are you here today? Sorry, right here. So you're pro-abortion? Yeah. Why, why are you pro-abortion? It's a woman's right to choose. So do you, do you care at all about the rights of pre-born women? Huh? Don't talk to him. We don't know how to defend our beliefs. Run away, run away. We don't know how to defend our beliefs. <laughs> Why are you here today, sir? Uh, stand up for women's rights. All women, pre-born women too? Uh, what? All women, pre-born women too? Pre-born women? Pre-born women. You, did uh, you know the gender is determined at, at conception? Uh, oh, run away, run away, run away. We have no arguments. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't think a black man can speak for himself. One might almost say that's a little bit racist. Do you agree with Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, when she said that black people and mentally deficient were defective stocks who, who prevent the flowering of American civilization? And do you agree with white supremacists who is saying that women right, should Margaret be... Right, Margaret Sanger was no, a white supremacist. No. I'm asking do if you, you agree with her. Do you agree that so you do you agree with margaret sanger who was a white supremacist the founder of planned parenthood who wanted to use birth control and abortion to get rid of black people do you believe in that i do not agree with your attitude and attacking women that's what i don't agree right abortion attacks pre-born women that's the point no it doesn't yeah abortion helps so, women well so what what is it what what's in the womb if it's not a human being it's a fetus. That's right. what's in. Fetus is a Latin word for small child. <laughs> it's a Latin word for small child. <laughs> so, do, do, how, how about you? Since you don't think she can speak for herself, do you do you agree with Margaret Sanger? She's doing a great job. A fetus is not a baby. Abortion is not murder. Women are not incubators. So, so when did you become human? When did you become human? Do you pay alimony to pregnant women? Do uh, you pay? No. Okay, does pregnant women have two vote, votes? But we support many families. No. Does, does pregnant women have two votes? Have two what? Does she have two votes? Two what? Votes. Votes? Yes. Uh, no, but uh, teenagers, teenagers don't have a vote either. <laughs> so are you saying teenagers have no rights either because they can't vote yet? <laughs> Do you, pay, do you pay Ali wait, money? Wait, so do you believe with Margaret Sanger, who wanted to use abortion to get rid of black people? That's the founder of Planned Parenthood. Do you believe that Ali money should be paid to unborn children? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so why it's not? Why don't you fight? Huh? Why don't you fight for Ali money payment? Oh, we do, yeah. We've supported legislation for that. Yeah, yeah. No, pro-lifers support legislation to support the, the, the unborn child and the mother. See, because we don't believe the solution to difficult life circumstances is killing people, like you do. That's awesome. You can believe what you believe, I believe what I believe. So do, do you believe that, that pregnant women should be able to take thalidomide, which leads to babies being born without any arms or legs, if it helps their nausea? Do you believe that women should be Wait, raped? Why won't you answer the question? 
Should women be legally able to take thalidomide, which in the 60s and 70s led to babies being born without any arms, if it helps her nausea? I love you, but you f talking bullshit. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know the drug thalidomide that women took to help with nausea decades ago? And you had thousands of babies being born without arms or legs? That's bullshit. No, that was a drug. It was called thalidomide. Do you think a woman should be able to take thalidomide when she's pregnant, even if the, if the doctor tells her your baby will be born without any arms? Do you believe that women should be raped? Wait, yes or no? Yes or no? Do you believe women should be raped? Should be you what? You don't have to talk to them. They okay. just want to force oh. them to give birth against oh, their oh, will. Oh, look. Oh, she doesn't we're think you can speak for yourself you know, either. Because you know, no, we're not talking so, to you. Uh, do you agree with Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, when she wanted Sorry, to use birth control and abortion to get rid of black people? This is a fascist free zone. This is a fascist free people? zone. Do you believe Black Lives Matter? Do you believe anyone here think uh, pre-born Black Lives Matter? No, anyone? So you guys like the racism of Margaret Sanger? So we're here at the Supreme Court. Uh, just uh, talk to some uh, some racist pro-choicers. Uh, very interesting. Wouldn't answer the question if they uh, if they believed uh, what Margaret Sanger believed when she wrote in Birth Control Review that she wanted to get rid of black people and the mentally deficient, who she called human weeds, <laughs> those defective stalks, which prevent the blossoming of the finest flowers of American civilization. That was the founder of Planned Parenthood. Uh, but you know, there was a famous saying, uh, when you have an argument, you make an argument. When you don't have an argument, you pound the table and you do it loudly. <laughs> you yeah. don't give a f about black people, no people, not white people, after they come out of the f***ing bird canal. Oh no, I... You don't, we, we, you we don't are, give a f***. All lives matter. Wait, 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 wait. All lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. Wait, all lives matter. Kill babies in the womb. All lives matter. But you don't give a f*** about them after so, they hit the bird canal. So, why is the baby not alive? Before it's too long, we have to try to rule my body. And what, what about pre-born women? What about pre-born women? Do you support the rights of pre-born women? Do you have an argument? Oh, you have no way. Oh, so you, okay, all right. Well, there you go. They really don't have any arguments, so that's interesting. What did you say to them? I said they're a bunch of sick bastards. Which ones? The pro-lifers? They're not pro-life, they're anti-birth. Anti-birth? Isn't not... that what being pro-choice means? You kill babies in the womb before they're birthed? Pro-choice? Pro choice means you support abortion, which this means is killing about a baby, women right? Women having control over their own bodies. This is what this is about. They don't care about the baby after it's born. No health insurance. Oh, sure they do. No, but, oh, are they? Are they helping support the baby and the mother once the baby's born? Oh, yeah. The pro life movement is the most generous of all. And all yeah, the best really polling generous. has shown yeah, really that, that religious is conservatives that are more generous than bomb, any other they type. They bomb of abortion people. clinics. They threaten to kill doctors. No. Yeah. Yes, they do. No, I don't they know where don't. You're getting your and anytime someone's done that, the pro life movement has I'm, has rejected them let me ask you something do you support do you support they're abortions that are sought after they're, for they're the gender of the baby of course you hear not. these stories sometimes where a mom only wants an abor a, a baby if it's a boy and if she finds where out it's a girl she stories? gets an abortion where do you hear these oh this stories? happens all around the world oh. Have, have you world. heard of China? In this, it's called talking, gender side abortion. You know, <laughs> I'm an international journalist. I run the Global Women's News Organization. I know about China. Okay. This is about the U.S. right now. Abortions right, and, and, and are not happening. People do they? get abortions in America sometimes when they don't want a girl. Oh, really? Tell so me do you have a problem are. with Tell gender side are. abortions? If someone only got an abortion because it was a girl and they wanted a boy, is there anything wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. It's up to the woman. It's her body. Really? Yes. So yes. you support gender side? I the elimination support, of pre-born women I simply support, because of their gender? I support women making choices over their own bodies. How could you defend that as an advocate of women's rights? Killing baby Don't girls because they're, because they're girls? A I woman, thought you were an advocate of women's rights. A woman has the right over her own body to make choices, and it's not up to anyone else, including men. Where does the right to abortion come from? Where does this right come from? So what does the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness mean to you if babies don't have any right to life? Who do you work for? Um, Why are you no not one. wearing a mask? How come you don't care about because other people's health? Because I'm not sick. Yeah, how and do masks we know don't that? do anything. Masks so. do a lot. We know that internationally. You don't believe in science? Wait, you're pro-choice. Do you, do <laughs> you don't you? believe in science at all. I believe in that science. That human life absolutely. begins at the moment I am of conception. A
that's not a that's a an opinion that you have. So also, do you what do you believe about the death penalty? It's an opinion and that human you, life begins at the moment of conception. The child tier Did you know Faye Waddington, the former Planned Parenthood president, said in an interview with Miss Magazine in the eighties, she she said, no, I think we're deluding ourselves. Because you don't have a mask okay. Yet. She said, I think you we're need deluding to follow ourselves. Local DC law and wear a mask. That's not a law. It is too. Do, do, and you know what else? You are very close to her. Do you, do, how about you? Do you believe human life begins Wait, at the moment of conception? No, 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 no. You need to take so your. I should. I should to sacrifice to protect vulnerable human beings. So you're pro-life. I want. I am. We should sacrifice to protect innocent human life. I am pro-life. I support child care tax credit. I support overturning the death Do you support abortions or point of birth? I support taking care of children who are here on this planet. Do you believe babies should be I'm given the benefit the of anesthesia to ease pipeline. the pain of dismemberment in an abortion? What the is wrong with you? Really? I'm, I'm just asking you questions. You? Yes or no questions. I want to know what you do to take care of people who are alive. Do you support the child care tax credit? Unborn babies are alive, ma'am. I want to They're talk growing, about they're developing, these. they have their own DNA. They're do a human you, being. Why do you not b believe that human beings should have a right to life? I don't even want to talk about that because we need to talk about people. Because you have no argument. I have many right? arguments, but you need to go put a mask on and get out of here. And go do you back believe to you in Margaret from. Sanger's ideology of using birth control and abortion to reduce the black population? No, I don't. Do you support actually. that? Of course not. So you don't support Planned Parenthood then? Because that's what they do. They do not. They support whole women health care. And all women? All Pre born women. women? They do, yes. Do you think do. women should be able to take thalidomide when they're nauseous, Here's even though it leads to babies born without arms or legs? Here's what I know. Yes or no? I know that you don't actually care about people who are alive. And I know I can You're begging the question. You're assuming the unborn is not alive. How are they not alive? They're growing, they have their own DNA, they have I their own gender. I want to know from you do you support the child care tax credit? I want to know if you support funding for education. I want to know if you support stopping the death penalty. Those are all other good conversations to have. I'm talking about abortion, the intentional killing of an innocent human being because their mother calls them that. unwanted. But that's crazy. what you're out here marching for. I'm out here marching for life. For abortion, for genocide. All right. Woo. <laughs> well, there you go. Once again, no one can answer the questions. They're very simple yes or no questions, but you can't really answer them because regardless of how you answer them, you look like a moral degenerate. Uh, and that's not because I'm just so good at questions, it's because it reveals the truth and no one wants to deal with that. So, so you're at the March for Life, the 49th annual, uh, cr which is crazy, 49 years since this Supreme Court right behind us decided that not all humans are persons and that the pre-born could be killed through all nine months of pregnancy for any reason or no reason at all. And the media says that uh, the next generation is very pro-abortion, very pro-choice, and that women need abortion to be equal. Uh, but every time I come to the March for Life, it seems like it gets younger and younger. So why are you guys here? Why are you pro-life? Yeah, so um, I'm pro-life because, I don't know, it's just the biggest human rights issue of our time, honestly. And um, yeah, without the right to life, none of our other rights even matter, so yeah. Wow. Uh, I think you have maybe good parents or you've been being <laughs> raised very well. Thank you. Well, why are you guys here? You, and you guys came from where again? Austin. From Austin, Austin, Texas. Awesome. And are you guys part of a pro-life club? Yes. Wow, amazing. Students for Life or yes. Yes. Students for Life? Awesome. Yes. And how about you? How, why are you pro-life? Why did you make it all the way out from Texas? Um, I just think it's, like she said, one of the biggest issues our country is facing right now. Obviously, with all the millions that have been lost to it, and it's just something that's finally, I think, being looked at more now, especially, like, as you can see with this huge turnout we have, yeah. We are the post of generation, and we will abolish abortion. We are the post of generation, and we will abolish abortion. We are here at the March for Life, uh, 49th anniversary. This is Isabel Brown, a yes, fearless indeed. voice for life Thank and a you. TPUSA ambassador. So why do you want to control women's bodies? I don't want to control <laughs> women's bodies. None of us do here. And it's so interesting to see what narratives the media and the left and the pro-abortion lobby will use to try to convince you this is an issue of women's rights. Right. If we were really serious about rights for all women, including the right to life, that would include pre-born women too. Amen, that's right. And so uh, why do you care so much about pro life. You know, I'm a scientist by education. My degree is in biomedical sciences, and then I went and got my master's in it here at Georgetown in Washington, D.C., 
And I truly believe that science and the pro-life movement are the most compatible topics that we have out there as proof for the fact that life begins at conception That's and right. every human life is valuable. So right. really learning about all of the intricacies of fetal development uh, and human beings was what led me to be pro-life. And what would you say to pro-choice women who believe that they need abortion for women's equality? They absolutely do not. Every woman deserves the right to life and true equality for women starts with the right to life for pre-born women too. Roe vs. Wade said that unborn human babies may be human, but they're not persons. The uh, pro-aborts yesterday, interestingly, were not at the March for Life at all. They didn't show up at all. We had 200,000 people marching for life. But they are here today with an abortion dancing flash mob, dancing for the right to kill babies through point of birth, which is, of course, what Roe vs. Wade legalized. We haven't got very many people to answer us any questions, but I want to say this, this flash mob and dancing will one day be remembered in 40, 50, or 60 years in the same vein as KKK lynch mobs because it's the same exact ideology and these people have far less courage of their convictions uh, than the racists did. They're not even willing to offer an argument as to why the unborn child has no rights. They should be protected by our government. I'm here because I believe that all human life matters from the moment that we're human beings. And uh, about, if you about, want to follow the science, the, well, let me finish. The science of, yeah, I'm talking about human life. Yeah, the science of embryology. Why are you here defending human life? Uh, well, isn't that what they're claiming when to do as when well? You're not in fact acting like a moral human. Instead, what you're doing is okay. disrupting a positive energy rally for your YouTube channel. Oh, I told you if you didn't want to talk, I'd walk away. So that's not disrupting. But let me finish this the is, answer. This is the second time he comes up to me. Well, earlier I said, hey, and you turned away. Anyway, so... Uh, if so, you'd like the so answer, you, you don't want the answer. You people okay. for your YouTube channel. And Good luck with it's that, It's funny bro. that this is harassing, but abortion is health care. <laughs> That's hilarious. Abortion's health care, but asking questions is harassing. Uh, what it is to be a leftist in La La Land? What a strange uh, fantasy to live in. I told you, everybody hates abortion. Nobody you wants to have one. Day. People don't Party dance and cheer for something they hate. They're not Laws, cheering for the act of abortion. They're cheering freedom. to make it safe and legal. You're we missing the point. Sir, that's Let's like go. saying that, that rapists and don't cheer for rape. They cheer for the right bro, to rape bro, women. Bro, bro, that's not it. Deliver us from we had a great conversation. How about you? Let's talk about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Did you know that Ruth... Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they get very afraid uh, when someone has answers <laughs> and when they have good questions about the pro-choice position. And so they just run away. I just want some answers to some questions. This is Brandy Swindell. She is the CEO and founder of Stanton International Healthcare, an organization and women's medical clinic that exists as an alternative to abortion and actually gives women all of their choices and information Real choice. to make educated Actual decisions. Options, yeah. So, so Brandy, I want to ask you some questions while we're here. Um, I just spent some time trying to ask pro-abortion people questions. And you know, you and I have been in the pro-life movement yeah. for a while. Uh, I find that the pro-choicers of the circa 2000s had a lot more of a spine. So you can see there is a, uh, you know, kind of a ruckus crowd over there chanting their typical ridiculous. Well, they're dancing. They're pro, <coughs> yeah, no, they're pro-life jargon. And the, can you listen to one of the songs they started dancing to? I will survive. <laughs> yeah, and that's like I the pro-life anthem. I mean, that is the anthem for pre-born right. children. I will survive. That's right. So we're like, wow, I guess they're like our DJs this morning. That's right. Because, you know, and then they sang a hymn earlier when they first started. They had somebody lead a hymn, the pro boards, and it, will, wow. it was, I will not be moved. And we're like, we're, the pro-life movement <laughs> is not moving. So it's so sad. They have no logic. They have no reason. You know, the science is on our side. Hope, compassion is on our side. That's right. We have a movement of millions and millions of pro-life Americans, an international movement That's right. of pro-life people, because we recognize this is a human rights issue. That's right. And how pathetic that they would do a dance party That's right. to celebrate shredding and tearing apart babies in the womb. When people aren't willing to engage and have a discussion, that means they have no real position or argument. That's right. That's They're right. simply celebrating killing children. Right. What a disgusting that's thing right. to celebrate. And that's why they're afraid to talk to you, Seth, because your questions are just, they're, they're, they, they can't stand up, they can't stand to reason. That's you know, right. they yep. cannot stand up to your simple, basic 
questions. We're at the Supreme Court of the United States on January 21st, 2022. Tomorrow marks the 49th anniversary of the Roe versus Wade decision, which legalized abortion through all nine months of pregnancy in this country for any reason or no reason at all. By judicial fiat and Supreme Court justices legislating from the bench, repeating the judicial bigotry of Dred Scott, they claimed to have found a new class of human beings that were not persons and didn't have personhood rights and protections under our Constitution. The decision that claimed to have found a constitutional right to kill an innocent human being in their mother's womb simply because they were unwanted so that women could have bodily autonomy and women's rights. Ironically, this decision denied the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness to 50% of preborn women who were killed through abortion and over 63 million children who have been killed since then, making this the number one leading cause of death in the world in America today and the greatest genocide in human history. So we are here as the pro-life movement to speak life and demand that the Supreme Court, which is <laughs> promised to uphold the natural right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, do so once again by restoring the inherent protections that flow from our human nature as image bearers of God to the only class of human beings today that it is legal to kill, preborn children created in the image of God. So we are here at the same location that declared that the unborn were not persons within months of the Supreme Court did issuing their decision on the Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization lawsuit, which um, is the 15-week abortion ban in Mississippi, which runs against the jurisprudence and the constitutionality of Roe versus Wade. And if the Supreme Court allows the Mississippi 15-week abortion ban to stand, it will be a functional overturning of Roe versus Wade, sending back those decisions to the states to make those determinations as the pro-life movement girds up their loins and prepares to contend at the state level until every state protects every preborn child from the moment they're a human being. Thanks so much for tuning in.